All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol GNUS, Genius Brands International Inc. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to my channel, Invest for Tomorrow. To all my subscribers, welcome back and let's jump into this chart. So Genius Brands International Inc. actually had a run and it hit highs here of about 128 and the resistance level was broken through, but not quite for long so quickly after the bears did appear and they started to bring this down to newer lows and starting to fall below the 50-day moving average so there's some important things here now if we look at genius brands a little bit more wide out there has been a slight recovery after being at the lows of 95 cents and rising up leveling off falling down to about 103 rising almost to 150 at 149 and it's been on a sideways movement right now. So there's a lot of volatility going on, but the stock has been in the last couple of weeks rising up. Could this continue? Well, if the bulls continue to break through the resistance levels that are being formed, they could, and they slightly did that yesterday, but they did not hold that position for long. Bears appeared fairly quickly, bringing this one down below the 50 day moving average. So. The 50 day moving average is 123 at 123 that lets us know on what side of the chart we're in if the bulls are in control or the bears are in control as of right now obviously the bears are slightly gaining control and for them to confirm that control they will have to break through the 50 day moving average even lower right now they're slightly below it closing off at 121 and 123 is the 50 day moving average that lets us know if the bulls are in control or the bears are in control that's why it's so important so write that down closed off at 121 and our support level is 120 for the bulls to continue to lose control and the bears continue to get further into bearish territory and get this one to newer lows they have to break through 120 that's our support level if that is broken through i'd pay very close attention to how this stock is reacting and how quickly is it hitting newer lows and if the bulls are even trying to reappear now if 120 does get broken through the lowest point in the day was 117 that will be your next support level and it's a very important one that's the one before this run and also back here the one before the previous bullish run hitting 132 and quickly dipping rising up again and leveling off so very important number 117 if that gets broken through this could start to see newer lows and newer support levels working its way further away from the 50-day moving average in a downward direction now on the other spectrum we have what the bulls want the bulls are going to want to break through the resistance our resistance level right now which was the highest peak of this uh run right bullish run and quickly dipping because the bears reappeared was 128 so the bulls need to break through 128 turn that into a support but before doing that the bulls need to break through the 50 day moving average 123 turn that into support work their way up break through 128 turn that into a support so they can start to work their way up to newer highs and further away from the 50 day moving average in an upward direction so very important thing here is if the bulls accomplish breaking through 128 then their next point would be up here at 132 which is the highest point reached in the last couple of days but before getting there 128 does need to be crossed and turned into a support if the bulls accomplish this they've accomplished two things they broke through the 50-day moving average and got into bullish territory and they broke through the most important resistance level that needs to be turned into a support so that this can continue to work its way further away from the 50-day moving average in an upward direction as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you feel encouraged or inclined to subscribe, please do so. Don't forget to click on the bell by turning on all notifications to not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button and let me know you watched this video. Well, at the end of this video, that pop-up video, I actually go into deeper detail about the S&P 500 index. And I just want to break it down a little bit to you guys and see what it is that I want you guys to watch. I know I've been saying it in my last couple of videos, check out the video and you're like, well, what does that do for me? I'm just looking for the ticker symbol. I wanna see the analysis and so forth. Well, this right here is great news 
for us as investors right now, present day, I know that the Federal Reserve pumps have an effect. A lot of analysis say that and experts in the future. But right now, in the present, how can you continue to maximize profits? Well, it's been awesome to see the S&P 500 rise the way it has in such a great recovery due to the fact of these pumps. I'm not sure if that trickle effect is already starting to show that these pumps have had an effect where it can actually start going in the other direction or if this is just due to the fact of the time of the year, people taking profits, the uncertainty that's coming up or fear or so forth, right? So that is something that I am already seeing how quickly this has actually fallen. But you can see as it's been falling down that these pumps still have an effect on the market by bringing it up several points. And we're going to go into that in just a moment into detail. But this has been rising up and it was a, a great run. It hit highs. And from this point forward, it actually started to fall and it became more turbulent. The volatility has always been there. But these pumps were actually supporting the market on rising up. But we're going to look at the pumps now because this is the state that we're in. We're not in that bullish run anymore. So I'm going to pull this up. These are some of the most recent pumps. This was released right back on the 14th of September. And the next release date is October 14th. So the first one was on the 15th. And I want, we're going to look at that in just a second. The second one was on the 22nd. The third one was on the 29th. And the most recent and upcoming one to be the recent one is 10 6 october 6 so we're gonna look at those dates so the 15th this was september 14th it slightly dipped and it ended off around 33.83 and the next day was the 15th and it rose up to 34.18 that right there is a rise of several points for the s p 500 index and again 21st rising up and we land on the 22nd so the day pretty much ended and started here at 32.61 and the end of the run because then comes the 23rd the end of the run on the 22nd which was the date of the next pump it reached up to 33.21 so again rose up several points now the anticipation here for the next pump and the week that was coming the end of the week started really strong, started the week strong on Monday, and it started to dip on that Tuesday of the date of the pump. Well, guess what? The pump actually saved it from hitting newer lows and actually created momentum to continue to rise up because it hit 32.28, and before the day ended, it rose up to 33.49. This is actually one of the pumps that I've seen the pump do the least effect in rising it by several points but i have seen the pump do this before stop it from going in this direction and rising it back up creating an attractiveness to the market to bring in obviously more investors and obviously do this effect to bring it up and then obviously the volatility of the market is normal to be seen like that so we're anticipating the next one but what i want to talk about is what does it mean for us as investors that these points of the index are rising up well if the index of the s p 500 is rising up several points that means that it is rising up and there's 500 ticker symbols within it some of them not all of them are rising up with it so individual ticker symbols are rising anywhere from 30 cents to up to three dollars maybe even more but i have seen ticker symbols rise on the dates of these rises and these points rising on the index individual ticker symbols rise 30 cents three dollars per share i know that that doesn't sound like a lot it sounds like oh well it's 30 cents oh it's three dollars i know i know it sounds small but per share it does add up and i'm not saying that it guarantees you profits but profits are profits and i always say that in all of my videos especially when i'm talking about this and this is an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize your losses i'm just encouraging you guys to check out the video i go into more detail about it i just want you guys to see with your own eyes the dates of the pumps and what it has done and if we go back to previously reaching these highs and dipping this pump 
of the scheduled dates was rising us up in an upward direction. I mean, here are some notes and I also had notes here, but I deleted it because I didn't want those notes to go ahead and confuse people in the upcoming pump dates of over here. But something that I find interesting is, yes, on the dates of these pumps, the market was rising up to newer highs, reaching newer levels and going up to the point that it hit these highs. But on the way down, on the dates that the market is rising several points, I mean, you do see it several times before, okay? That's good. But on the dates of the pumps, it's actually rising. It's actually rising. It's actually leveling off, rising, creating momentum to go to the next level. And it actually rose due to the fact of the anticipation of people knowing that there was probably an upcoming pump. So many investors know about this. A lot of people aren't speaking about it or they're unaware of it. So I'm here to share with you guys that there's an opportunity to maximize profits and minimize losses. Click on the video, check it out. I go into more detail about it. I hope you find it helpful and informative. And thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.